pandas session we will see how to import csv import excel export csv and export excel let's jump to the python ide first thing first we need to do is import pandas module as pd you can say anything it's not necessary to say pd you can say anything so th uh, then select this and execute this now we have pandas imported over here let me take you to my folder where i have my csv file like you can see i have my csv file over here named as employee underscore csv so this file i need to import from this particular location remember we are doing this in windows and to do this thing in windows we need to keep in mind certain things which i'll be explaining in the way so to import that first we need to create a data frame i mean to name a data frame that i gonna say import df underscore csv equals to first you will put pandas module then put dot and by default you will get a list even if you don't get the list just type read underscore csv in the bracket you need to put the location which we just copied from there now we need to provide the file name which we want to import which is employee underscore csv dot csv which is the file extension and then you need to replace these backward slashes with forward slash how can you do that from replace option so in spider you can just press ctrl r and then at the bottom you'll get this thing put backward slash over here here i already have that forward slash and then i will replace all so everything has been replaced over here one thing which we need to use is engine equals to python this is not necessarily always required but sometime when you don't use this you get the unicode error so to be on safer side i just use this now our data frame has been imported let's see how many records and columns do we have over here and for that we can use the shape you don't have to worry about this function which we will be explaining in further videos now like you can see we have 99 rows and four columns so this is how we can read a csv file in pandas using pandas module right now let's see how can we export the csv file so for that i will just make a subset of this imported data right and i will name that as df underscore csv2 and i'll make a subset of the imported data which is df underscore csv and i will choose top 30 observations so now i have this top 30 observation to check that whether that is correct or not i will again use shape and then i'll see here we can see like we have 30 rows and four columns now let's try to export that to export that you need to type the data frame name which you want to export then put dot and then say to csv and in the bracket you need to put the location where you want to export that so i would like to export it at the same location from where i imported it right so let's put this over here now because I already have a file with this name, so I'll just make a minimal change into this so that it will not replace the previously available file. So I would say exported. Now let's export this and see what happens. Let's go back to here. Here we have our CSV file exported. Now if you open this, you will notice one additional column. Previously we had four columns, now we have five columns. Let me just show you this. So we have, like you can see, we have five columns. This column is exported from data frame because in uh, Python we have the data frame or in Pandas we have the data from frame with indexes. So if you want to eliminate this, you just need to say here, you just need to use one parameter which is says index equals to false and then run this now again let's go back here refresh this and try to open this so like you can see we don't have this time we don't have that index column so this is how you can export 
a CSV file. Now let's see how can we do this with Excel. First we will see how to import the Excel file. So for that again in the same same fashion I'll create a data frame named as df underscore Excel and then I would use PD module and I will this time I will say read Excel. Here I have the same location I have this usually in Python we don't get the Unicode uh, is usually when we are importing Excel file we don't get the Unicode error so this time I'm not going to use this parameter engine equals to Python and let's see if we get the error we will use that again so this part I need to just change because the Excel file which I have over here is named as employee underscore Excel right and then I need to provide the extension here I have the Excel file which is version more than to, uh, 20, uh, 2010, right? 2007. It's more than 2007. So I would say Excel is X, it's Excel is X file. Let's try to select this and execute this. Wow, it's successfully executed. We don't have any error over here. Let's check the shape of this file. Here it says. Again, we have 99 rows and 4 columns. So this has been imported successfully. Now in the same manner, we will make a subset of this file and we will try to export that in Excel format. Let's make a subset of this. I would say Excel version 2 and then I would use the original file which is this dot. I would say head. I will try to use first 25 observation from this particular imported data frame now we have this file this data frame created let's check its shape now like you can see we have 25 rows and four columns let's try to export this in excel format how can we do that so first you need to provide the data frame name then dot and then say to excel it's very simple if you want to put that into csv say to csv if you want to put that into excel say to excel All right let's put the same location where we want to export this this time just i will alter the name of this file and i would say exported all right now you remember previously to avoid the uh, column with numbers we use index so again this will happen if you are exporting that in excel again you will get the indexes so to avoid that i am going to use index equals to false so that i would not have a default column which contains the serial numbers now this has been exported let's go to this and see here we have employee excel exported let's open this and see like you can see it over here we have the data exported with 25 rows and we don't have any index column thank you very much for watching the video hope you liked it just in case of any doubt please do not forget to put that into the comment section we will definitely try to solve that wish you very good